This problem is testing us on patterns of multiplying even and odd numbers. I'm just gonna bring up three main points on multiplying even and odd numbers that will help us break through the problem. The first point, if we multiply two even numbers together, we will always produce an even number. So for example, two times two is equal to four, which is obviously an even number and this holds true for every instance of multiplying an even times an even number. Moving on, if we have two odd numbers, three times three, and we multiply them together, we will always produce an odd number. And then the last situation, if we have an even two times an odd three, we will always produce an even number. So now moving on to our question. If the product of integer m and integer n is odd, so before we even move on to the remainder of the sentence, we are going to note that because the product of m and n is odd, then that means that both m and n must be odd integers based off of the second point that we just brought up. So then moving forward, then which of the following must be even? So now the best way to approach this is just to test each case by putting in theoretical odd numbers. So we can assume for the first one, just to make the math easy, that n and m are equivalent. So we'll do three over three equals one, which is an odd number. Therefore, answer choice A is actually incorrect. Moving forward, answer choice B, if we had 3 as m minus 1, we would get 2, which is in fact even. But just to solidify the fact that this may be our correct answer, we can look at another example. So if we did 5 for m minus 3 for n, that also equals two, which is also an even integer. Therefore, most likely, answer choice B is correct. But just to be certain, and if we have time, we'll move on to the remaining three answer choices. So if we look at answer choice C, we can plug in three for M plus two times one for N, and this equals five, which is an odd number, and therefore, is an incorrect answer choice. So choice C is incorrect. And then in order to save time, we already have a pretty good idea that choice B is most likely correct. We can eliminate choice D and E based off the premise that if N and M or N or M were not equivalent, that M over N in each situation would produce a fraction. Therefore, we would not produce an even integer making each of these, choice D and choice E, incorrect. Therefore, we're left with choice B, which is our correct answer.